Hi, I'm Hannah Absalom. And I'm Alex Absalom. And we want to say welcome to our very first video blog. So uh, whether you are a long-standing friend or a church leader who's got to know us at an event or someone who's randomly clicks on this page when you stop watching cat and, cat and videos and stuff like that, uh, what we want to be doing here is serving you as leaders across God's kingdom. Uh, what we do is uh, with two main things. So one is we lead the Dandelion Project, which is a new thing for the Lord's put into our lives, which is a network of multiplying home churches. So uh, we see the Lord planting this thing out, uh, churches which are based in homes, uh, parks, pubs, neighborhoods, restaurants, schools, that uh, are these kind of mid-sized groups which are uh, multiplying and reaching all sorts of people who wouldn't normally c connect with church. And then alongside that, something we've been doing for a little longer, or quite a long time longer, is what we call dandelion resourcing. And that's just a home for our coaching, speaking, ministry serving uh, with people like you. And the reason for the name dandelion, which we love, um, is basically um, the think of the dandelion seed head and um, the wind, the wind and the hope, the wind of the Holy Spirit blowing all these seeds, all these people, all these things that God is doing and blowing them all over the place. And uh, they land in all sorts of nooks and crannies and they sprout and germinate and produce a flower and then a seed head of their own, which again then goes and multiplies. You think of that lawn or whatever and just the whole neighborhood is soon covered with dandelions. So again, it's just praying that the wind of the spirit would just drive what we are doing and there'd be much fruit and multiplication. And if we were going to sum up what we do in perhaps three quick words or phrases, so we feel we're called to be about disciple making, so forming disciple making, disciples of Jesus. Secondly, we want to be on mission. Thirdly, we want to do it in the power of the spirit. So if those are things which resonate with you, then we hope we'll be able to serve you. So come join us on this journey as we share stories, successes, failures, things that God's talking to us about and teaching us about on the journey. Uh, there'll be teaching points, there'll be um, all sorts of just ideas. So, um, and it's basically how do we make disciple making disciples of Jesus in a post-Christian culture and we want to do that with you as well. Uh, and if you have particular comments or questions or, or ideas that you would like us to talk about on this, then reply in the comments section underneath or email us directly on dandelionresourcing.com. And finally, each time we're going to try and do uh, a question or something that you can take away and have an action step. So today, just a kind of warm up question is think about a friend of yours, a neighbour, who is currently unchurched, perhaps lives near where you are, um, and they're not coming on a Sunday morning. They're just, it's just not on their radar. They're not going to come. What are the top two or three reasons that have led them to that position? So to put it another way, what are the key reasons that you see in your context, your place of mission, that uh, cause your unchurched friends and neighbours to write off church as they experience it on, on a weekend service? and to not be engaged with that. Uh, what are those key things for you in your situation? So thank you for joining us and till next time.